Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I want to talk about the study of capillary trapping mechanism using micro CT, and recently we also used micro model experiments. Okay, the main focus will be on capillary trapping uh, during imbibition, and here this process will happen at this uh, uh, end of the CO2 plume, and if the plume moves upwards, then capillary trapping will reduce the volume step by step. Okay, what we did is we did a series of column experiments using glass beads, different sizes, natural sands, and we're using as fluid-fluid pair air water, so we have a strongly water-wet system. And the imbibition, the injection rate from the bottom was in a range of capillary numbers 10 to the minus 7 to 10 to the minus 6. Okay, and here you have a nice image from micro CT, and this uh, blue phase is a trapped gas phase, and you can do a lot of image processing, calculate the fluid saturation, calculate the gas-water interface, which is important for mass transfer, doing a lot of cluster analysis. Uh, the most important and surprising result was this bubble morphology. So we really observed this large network-like or cheese, uh, Swiss cheese-like clusters. And, and, and this was surprising because some years ago we published a paper and we argued such large clusters are not possible because you have a high excess uh, uh, free energy and they will split in smaller ones so you have only single poor trap bubbles. And then you're using spherical approximation and you can do a lot of nice mass transfer calculations. But this is reality. So the things are much more complicated than we thought before. Okay, then we try to understand our experimental results and we are used percolation theory and these are the three classical papers uh, done by Lenormand Sarkona. This is, in my opinion, still the best one which concerns physical reasoning then this Wilkinson paper, and also this paper by Blunt and Scheer. And first, we want to understand the uh, capillary deceleration curves. That means we start our project, our project with a hypothesis if we had a faster increase of the, of the water table, then gas has not enough time to escape, and therefore we expect a higher trapped uh, amount of gas. But what you see here, for all this experiment we did, we just fluctuate around this uh, prediction from percolation theory. And this is just true if you're going to this blunt and shear paper, and they did some modeling in this range of the capillary numbers. This is just what percolation theory predicts. The next thing is if you want to do some mass transfer, you need the gas water interface. And here we found a strong linear behavior. We also looked to other results from literature, especially Landry et al. And we analyzed their data and also we found a strong linear relationship. And, and then we thought there must be some process at the poor scale which gives this strong uh, a relationship, linear relationship on the macro scale. And then we analyzed uh, the individual cluster surface against the cluster volume. And here you can see this is a nice uh, linear relationship. And, and this is a, uh, the, 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 the basic process which gives this macro linear dependence of the total gas surface uh, versus gas saturation. And the next thing is you want to know something about the cluster size distribution. And here found, we found in all cases, on all rocks we studied, this universal uh, uh, power-like uh, behavior. And the last thing is if you're looking to these large clusters, then the question is how large can they grow? 
and, 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 and their uh, uh, percolation theory gives some nice threshold and you see all our uh, uh, investigated clusters never exceed this threshold from percolation theory. Okay, this is what we learned uh, about static distribution, but uh, we learned nothing about trapping dynamics because you always investigate the static gas phase and therefore we thought it would be good uh, to study dynamics, the dynamics of capillary trapping using monolayer experiments and also micromodel experiments. Uh, we use different micromodels, order disorder transition, uh, uh, dual porosity. Here you have this macro channels. This is also interesting. But the most interesting one is where we tried to map a 3D pore structure from our glass beads to a 2D model. We use simulating annealing and this structure has the same porosity that as, uh, 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 like our uh, uh, glass beads in the column and also the same connectivity. Important also is we, uh, okay, and if you would do a naive mapping just by cutting your column uh, then you get here this, this 2D model and you see you have the problem that you have no connecting cluster here. So you really have to do some smart mapping of this 3D glass bed structure. Important is that we have here rough surfaces and you will see in just a minute the difference between uh, the trapping in this uh, glass bits where you have smooth surfaces and the trapping here in these uh, micro models where you have rough surfaces. So it's clear in, in natural then you always have these rough surfaces. You have micro channels and these micro channels will give some uh, precursor thin film flow. This is well known in literature and uh, this gives a totally different dynamics of capillary trapping. So we always see some bulk flow and in front of this bulk flow we have this thin film precursor flow. Okay, so what you will see here in this monolayer experiment is we have piston-like displacement, uh, uh, some spontaneous imbibition and we observe the same trapped gas saturation like in our 3D column. Okay, so, so you have to look to this macro pore and then you will see we have here some bypassing. The water goes around and then it will be trapped here. The gas bubble in this macro pore and also you see here some single trapped uh, gas bubbles but also this long ganglia-like uh, uh, trapped gas, cl gas clusters. Okay, just looking to this, the water goes around and then you will see in this macro pore a gas bubble will be trapped. This is trapping uh, by bypassing, uh, this is a usual textbook example, it takes a little bit time, okay, I hope now it will be happened. <laughs> Yes, and now it gyps, you have this large bubble here. Okay, I have to stop because I'm running a little bit out of time. Going to the micro model, what will you see here is you have a precursor thin film flow because you have rough surfaces and this, always you have this jump-like advance of the water phase uh, going to the whole structure. I don't have the time to show everything going a little bit further here. So, and now you see it, it jumps here. This is also this precursor thin film flow. And then you have some swelling and here you have tr the trapping by snap off of all these gas bubbles. 
Okay, and this is a little bit complicated. These are different things what happens. You have this uh, thin film flow, which always is in front of the bulk flow. Then you have some corner flow, which fills the channels. Uh, all the things you can discuss and observe, it's very interesting, but I have to stop this stuff here. Otherwise, I will not come to my conclusion. It's uh, maybe interesting to look at a uh, higher resolution, and you have to look to this here, where here you have this unstable film swelling, and then you have some uh, snap off, and you will see it just started in one second. It goes very fast, so now comes here, and you will see a rupture here and here, and then you have this trapping in this. Now it ruptures here and here. Okay, and you have all kinds. You have single pore trap bubbles here. You have double pore trap, and you have this ganglia-like trapping in this case. Okay, this is just uh, done by snap-off events, and in the other case we have this bypass trapping, and this is all what I want to show you, this nice movies I thought would be good in the afternoon. Okay, what we learned for CO2 storage. So usually you find in the literature this nice picture from Benson, and you have the single poor trap bubbles. We find also that 50% of our gas clusters are single pore trapped gas bubbles, but they contain only 15% of the residual gas. So these guys here, these very interesting guys, they are only 10% in number of, trap, of all trapped gas bubbles, but they contain 50% of the residual gas, and they will determine the time behavior of your mass transfer uh, process. This is one, one interesting thing. I think this I will just jump over. Then we found this universal power law behavior in all rocks uh, we investigated. And also interesting is uh, we could not establish the thermodynamical filling of these pores. We found some correlation between the pore size distribution and the bubble size distribution. Okay. This is all. Thank you for your attention. I have to thank my co-workers for your contributions. We have time for some questions. So I'm curious. Okay. Uh, we used water and air. Yes, CO2, you have to be a little bit careful with the dissolution and, 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 and. but I think if you are looking to the gaseous uh, uh, behavior, yeah, you have a, a lower surface tension. And this lower surface tension, if you have CO2, gaseous CO2 and water, will give you uh, even larger uh, trapped uh, gas bubbles. Uh, 